Villages, towns, and cities across America spend millions of dollars every year to fluoridate public water supplies. And for years, people were told it was good for their health. But a growing number of scientists have questioned this, and leading health organizations now warn against over-fluoridation. Back in 1945, adding fluoride to the public water supply to prevent tooth decay probably seemed like a good idea. A handful of studies had shown that it was effective, and medical experts declared it to be perfectly safe. The producers of the chemical were ecstatic. After all, this was a waste product, a poisonous byproduct of phosphate fertilizer manufacturing, something they had to pay to get rid of. Now, they could sell it instead. And so, with the enthusiastic support of the chemical industry, local water departments were encouraged to add fluoride to public water supplies. Studies appeared to show great benefits from fluoridation. The American Dental Association and other groups became strongly supportive. Everyone believed the effort was a resounding success. Supporters called fluoridation one of the 10 great public health achievements of the 20th century. The notion that fluoridated water reduced tooth decay was promoted by constant repetition and soon became an accepted axiom of public health. But was it true? Now, after more than 60 years of gathering statistics, we know for certain. Communities, cities, and even countries that fluoridate their water have exactly the same rates of tooth decay as those that do not. That's right, we know that adding fluoride to public water supplies does not materially improve public health. In fact, the opposite may be true. New studies have shown that ingesting fluoride can cause or exacerbate serious health problems. These negative health impacts of ingesting fluoride are most pronounced for children, the same demographic in which we heavily promote its use. What scientists know now is that the safest and most beneficial use of fluoride is when pharmaceutical grade fluoride is applied directly to teeth. As scientists learn more about fluoride, many cities across America have decided not to continue with fluoridation, and more are joining them every day. Fluoridation costs millions of your tax dollars, and most of it goes down the drain. So why are we still fluoridating water supplies? That's a good question. Mm -hmm.